in five, four, three, two, one. Good morning, New York. <laughs> Welcome to Hairdresser Reacts. Today it's sunny with a chance of uh, silk hair silk for press. Speed. <laughs> They really love me. They do. Your audience loves me. They really do. I'm not gonna lie. To Nobody's myself. no. Team Emma. Stop gassing her up, guys, because it's getting awkward. And Kidding. now she thinks she's a YouTuber also. So there's only room in this house for one of those. Oh my god! Um, you are not putting this on. Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching some girls with 4C hair. And if you don't know what 4C hair is, that is the curliest hair you could possibly have. Very, 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 very curly. And they're gonna do silk presses on themselves, which means they are going to make their hair so damn straight, glued to the head, baby. Baby. Iron flat, it's gonna be so sexy, so fun. Last time I did this video, I learned a lot about the process of doing silk press on 4C hair. And today I hope to learn even more and better my knowledge about 4C hair. Before we get into that, today's video is sponsored by my love, honey. We all shop online and we've all seen that promo code field taunt us at checkout. But thanks to honey, manually searching coupon codes is a thing of the baby. Honey is the free browser extension that scours the internet. It finds promo codes for you and applies the best promo codes it finds to your cart. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. Here I am shopping on PacSun and buying some beautiful, fabulous shoes. When you check out, the Honey button drops down and all you have to do is click apply coupons. And then you just wait a few seconds while Honey searches the best coupons for that site. I saved $14 on these fabulous Chuck Taylors. I can never have enough. I have way too many pairs of Converse's. It's bad. Those of you who have installed Honey using my link have found over $16,000 in savings. That's a lot of savings, baby. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free money. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting my channel. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash bradmondo. It's literally free and installs in just a few seconds. That's joinhoney.com slash bradmondo. Thanks, Honey, for sponsoring today's so, with that all said, let's get it started. Okay, first video, we got a girl named Shakira Jone or Jone. Jone, I'll go with Jone. Uh, and this is called Curly to Straight Hair Routine on Type 4 Hair, Silk Press, No Heat Damage. I doubt that. I always love learning, but how are we doing a silk press, no heat damage is what I'm wondering. But let's check it out. I have not flat ironed my hair in like so long. I got my rat tail comb. Sorry, right off the bat, her hair looks so healthy, so hydrated, beautiful curls, literally no frizz. She said she hasn't done this in a very long time. And her curl pattern, by the way, is like flawless. Really appreciate that. Probably because she doesn't straighten it very often, like she just said. The Tresemme heat tamer, leave-in spray, and okay. the heat silk infuser. I just bought this. Everybody this loves that stuff. Office. So this better work. Like my hair better be like super extra flowy. I wonder if it's just like straight up silicone. Let's check it out. The first ingredient on the cheese silk infused is silicone. Cheese? Cheese, cheese silk infused. Get it. Yeah, I mean, for there not to be water before silicone, I'm kind of surprised, but also not, because everybody loves this product who has very curly hair, and silicone will really make a very glossy, slippery surface on your hair. I don't have a problem with silicone. However, sometimes you can overload your hair with it. Sometimes it's really hard to get out. So having a product that has the first ingredient as silicone can be a little bit too strong for some people. Make sure you're clarifying your hair and getting that silicone out in between washes and not having it build up on your hair. I just got out of the shower, and this is what my hair is looking like after being towel dried. So I'm gonna part my hair off into four sections. I like that she's parting with her hands and not a comb. Normally, you know, if I were not working with 4C hair, I would go straight to a comb. I've definitely learned that with curlier hair, it's great to just use your hands for a lot of things. There's no real need to use a comb for this. Um, and it's just a lot easier to part curly hair without it. And I'm just clipping it away so I can work on this back section, spray my Tresemme heat tamer all over it, and now now I'm using my Chiso Confusion. Something I know about curly hair is that you should have the hair super wet when blow drying. That way you can get that curl out better. Once the hair dries, it pretty much like sets in place. So I tend to really spray down the hair before I blow dry, which is way different than when I do straight hair because with straight hair, I tend to want it to be like 90% dry before I even go in with the round brush or anything. In this case, I would want the hair sopping wet, but let's see how it goes with her. Obviously she probably knows more than me since she has the curly hair, not me. And I'm using kind of like a 
nickel dime slash, uh, size amounts and I'm going to put that throughout the whole section and I don't want to use too much but I'm just using the praying hands method to evenly distribute that throughout my hair and right now I'm taking tangle teaser dupe that I have from the Dollar Tree and I'm using that to stretch my hair out when I blow dry I blow dry in a downwards motion so right now I'm using my dimming brush and I'm going to use this technique to get to the root if you guys know me you know what I love a denim brush I went over that brush in my brushes that I love video or whatever the f call that. It's one of my favorite brushes. I love to use it on curly hair for forming a curl pattern or blowing out the hair. It's just so good. It gives you so much grip and it's just so easy to use. It has a great weight to it. Definitely recommend that if you've never tried one before. And for this uh, to really get flat and have a good blow dry, I use my blow dryer on high heat. She's really just trying to stretch out the hair and not trying to like completely smooth it out. I'm sure she'll go back with a flat iron. The mistake that I feel like I make a lot is trying to get the hair too smooth with a round brush or a flat brush before going with the flat iron like I should just get it a little bit straight and then go in with a flat iron like not waste my time you know I haven't seen a lot of people do this like twist after use the tension method to dry my hair very interesting about 95% uh, uh, dry before I go in with my dim and brush I'm learning a lot today again you see how slow she does these passes with the flat iron that is where it's at you don't go like this the flat iron okay you go very slow on the hair and you do one pass. You should never need more than one pass on the same strand of hair. That is when you cause damage in your hair. Oh, look at that hair get smoothed out. It's so satisfying. Yo, she has some shiny mother hair and I'm here for it. Right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly wrap my hair and I'm surprised I still know how to wrap my hair. Yeah, I usually wrap my hair in the opposite direction of what I want my part to lay on. She just said wrap and it went right around. Uh, yeah, so I'm just putting my satin scarf on. This helps set the style also, from what I know. Now I'm gonna go in with an edge control to do my edges, which I don't recommend unless you just know it's not gonna revert your hair. Whoa, do with the edges laid and everything. I usually don't like edges laid, but this looks flawless. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my God. God, you just gave me everything I needed today. Stunning before, stunning after. Those curls were so hydrated and so beautiful. That straight hair is so silky and so soft. I'm so happy for you. You look divine. Thank you for that video. 10 out of 10 today for the first video. Let's move on to the next video. Next video is by Kanice Official, and this is updated, poppin' silk press my 4c hair beginner friendly i'm going to section it off into two sections from now side by side she has very similar hair to the last girl so i'm wondering if their technique will be the same or a little bit different i actually end up doing two dime size amount people also use very very little of this which if it was me using that for the first time i'd probably be like dump it on my hand like i love products so good to know don't use too much the tangle with a wide tooth comb only during my blow dryer process I'm going to be doing the tension method hold the end of your hair pull it down nice and straight and you allow the heat from the blow dryer to dry your hair when it's in kind of like this straight form okay so clearly this is working for people you still can get a really nice silk press without just being extremely rough with your hair when I used to do blow dries a lot on 4c hair they would want me to do a full-on blowout and then straighten it because they said it lasts longer that was like the preferred method was for me to full on blow dry that real straight. And if I tried to do something like this, like just do the tension method, they would be like, um, can you like, no, like really blow dry it first and like put a lot of tension, a lot of grip on the hair, like a Dominican style blowout where they put just like a lot of heat on the hair typically. Um, that's how I was taught, but I like this better. It's a little less damaging and seems a little more gentle on the hair. Now we're using a comb kind of as like a paddle brush and using it to pull the hair straight and then blow dry. And we are twisting like the last girl again, I I found that super interesting. I would never think to like twist after I had already blow dried the hair. Like I would think that would add curl back. So good to know. Y'all know I work from back to front. I'm just sectioning off. Yo, she has just as much hair as the last girl, if not more. Hair, so I'm just putting the top in like a little ponytail bun situation. I am applying more of that chi on my hair. I apply that every time I'm about to start a new 
heating process. So oh, okay. Um, my hot comb. I She's using a hot comb. Those combs make me very, very nervous. I only use them on wigs, but using that on a client or something, I would be way too scared. If somebody moves just a little bit, it's gonna burn your head and I don't wanna do that. So I have this little tool. I honestly don't know where I got it from. Someone, it was gifted to me, but I'll try to find one on Amazon and I will link it down below. She's using this really cool comb that I've seen a few times before, but have never used one. I think they actually look like a lot of fun to use. I don't know, it keeps the hair really trapped in. And she's using a very, very skinny flat iron, which I feel like might be a waste of her time, but I think she really wants to get close, close, close to those roots, so maybe that's the reason for using that. I don't know. And we're making our way through the hair. She's going all around the head, section by section, you guys. This is what I mean when I talk about sections. It should be this precise. These tiny little sections are beautiful. They're fabulous. You're gonna get the best result when your sections are this small. Now she's giving herself a little bit of layering, which I love to see, and honestly, love to also see those dead ends drop to the floor. Still making me nervous with that with that hot comb. It's really it's scaring me a little bit. Okay, so now she's going in just like the other girl and putting some curls in there. I think this is the finishing touch that makes a silk press just so beautiful and well done. It's when you put that little bit of a bevel in there to give it some movement and some life back to it. And I wonder if she's gonna do the same wrap. Oh, I guess not. She's not going to wrap her hair like the other girl. She's going to leave it nice and bouncy and curly and wavy. I have to say it's not as straight as the last girl. They might have had slightly different textures. Some curly hair doesn't get that straight no matter what. Some curly hair gets really, really pinned straight. Who knew you liked it so straight, Brad? You've been saving that one for the <laughs> entire video. It wasn't even that good. I did that. I don't know. It wasn't even good. I don't know. That one you probably should have just saved. Her hair looked beautiful. I wish it was just like a tiny bit straighter, not gonna lie. But just for the before and after purposes, like I want it like, ooh, I want it really stuck to her head. But she had great volume and it was a different kind of style than the last girl. And I appreciate that. It looked fabulous before and after and yeah, great job. Next video is by Shayna Violet. This is called, I tried doing my own silk press on my 4C hair. Fail. Oh, we had to get a fail in there today. We had to guys, come on. I am not very good at blow drying. My blow dryer sucks. It looks good to start. I mean, she already stretched it out. It's looking similar to the other girl so far. I wonder what the fail is gonna be, honestly. My flat iron is from Amazon. I have no idea what it does. They had a lot of good reviews, so I bought it. All right, y'all, so I'm starting off by sectioning my hair into four parts. Then I'm going to detangle my hair using a wide tooth comb. Similar to the last girl. As y'all can see, and to its- This is so fun, I'm learning, I'm learning a lot. Some heat protectant and then go in with my hot comb. And just kind of editing the way I do curly hair. It's This is a lot of fun for me. Catch my roots like I need to because I'm just so scared I'm gonna burn my- Yeah, I would be scared too. Uh-uh, the hot comb thing, guys, I can't get behind it, unless it's for a wig. Yeah, I don't think I can do this. No, don't. We're just gonna have to go part by part. I'm going to be chasing the straightener with my comb. They make it look so easy to do the back of your head like this. I straighten my hair with a straight face. It's like, if I don't make one, then I'm not doing something right. I wanna try to do one pass, but here we are, two passes later. Oh no, dude, this <laughs> straightener is terrible. It's either not hot enough or it doesn't work well. I feel like it's probably not hot enough. Ah, I'm sad already. Granted, my hair was super flat, but it didn't look how it does like when my stylist does it. But obviously I'm not a licensed hairstylist. Oh no. I'm going to attempt to catch my roots again. It went just as you probably would expect. No, this flat iron needs to be way hotter. I feel like that's the issue or she needs to use some kind of silicone based oil, something to really hydrate her hair and make it super slippery and glossy because something's going on here. I can't quite identify what it is, but it doesn't look any different. And she just took all that time to straighten it. I feel so bad, no. Why does my hair look the same? Ah, this don't make no sense. Dude, I'd be pissed. Okay, so I did go in and try to trim my edge. She definitely needs a little bit of a trim, so I'm excited about this. I don't even think I cut it evenly. And I know I should have cut more, but don't judge me. Put down the scissors and the straightener, never do it again. So sorry that this was like a fail. Uh, and y'all, please don't judge me, but I'm not good with the hot comb. 
things. I cannot do hot cocoa. Okay, Shayna, we're not judging you. Maybe a little bit. I mean, if you watch this video, hopefully the two girls I watched before this will give you a few pointers on how to properly do your hair. And maybe you learned a thing or two while I did today on how to do it better next time. But Shayna, it was quite a fail. <laughs> I'm sad it didn't come out completely straight. Damn, that's frustrating. I'm sorry. All right, you guys. So those were some beautiful and not so beautiful slick presses. <laughs> I learned so much. I love learning about hair and I love expanding my knowledge about all things hair, whether that be color, cut, blow drying, straightening. Gotta always learn, you know? I'm not perfect. I don't know everything. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles. Oof, I'm everywhere. If you guys would like to text me, here is my number. I will be picking a few of you guys to actually text back. So text me there and I'll keep you guys updated on all my videos that I post and all sorts of fun things like that. Make sure you guys check out my hair care line xmoto hair at xmotohair.com is linked below or head over to our instagram at xmoto hair to see more about our products and learn more make sure you guys subscribe below if you're not already click the bell icon and the thumbs up if you'd like should i stop saying that at the end of videos is it, is it annoying i don't know today's instagram shout out goes to cindy she says hi brad i'm cindy from barbados Ooh, barbados i need to go there i love your channel i'm getting married in a couple months congratulations i'm having a hard time choosing bridal hairstyles can you suggest one for me Brad, that would look great with my face shape. I love you. Too. I am getting a vision of you having a side part, maybe like right over here, having like a really cute bang moment with the side part, really nice and flat around the head, and then having a low bun with a lot of movement and wave and curl, and maybe jazz it up a little bit with some pearls or some crystals inside that bun, just to really make it elegant and give you that bridal vibe. If you end up doing that, I would love to see a picture of it. Please send it over. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.